Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. My name is Ronan Lin and today we'll be cooking homemade tofu with broccoli and shiitake mushroom. So let's start cooking. First we'll start off with making the egg tofu. I'm using 7 eggs over here. Add in half a teaspoon of salt. Mix them up well. After you've done this, add in half a liter of unsweetened soya bean milk. Slowly mix them in. Stirring while you pour the soya milk in. Okay, so once this is done, we'll transfer this into a steaming tray. Line a piece of baking paper onto your steaming tray. Dab a little bit of water onto the steaming tray so that the paper can actually stick onto the tray and it won't pop up that easily. Using a sieve, we will sieve the egg and soya bean mixture into the steaming tray. Gently pour the egg mixture into the tray. Just use a spoon or fork and then just press the rest down. For whatever that can't go down is fine. We we'll just leave it and just put this aside. If there's any bubbles, just remove it. Using a piece of aluminum foil, you'll make a cover and cover the egg mixture. Make sure that the shining part is facing down. So place it down and wrap it up. Once this is done, we'll steam this for 30 minutes or until firm. So we'll go and steam this now. In a pot of boiling water or wok of boiling water, we will steam the egg mixture. Put the egg mixture in. We'll steam this for 30 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. 30 minutes is up. Let's have a look. Right, turn it off first. We will loosen up the foil and then we have a look inside. To check whether it's done or not. Or very simple to know whether it's done or not. All you got to do is just use a bamboo satay stick, just put it in. If it come out cleanly like this, that means it's done. Okay, so now we'll just take this out and let it cool down before we cut this up. The tofu has cooled down already, so we just need to take this out. So very simple, just get a tray, put it in like this, and turn this up this way. And voila, just remove the paper carefully. And there you go, one beautiful piece of egg tofu. Now we just need to pat this dry and then we'll cook this. I'll divide this into four pieces and I'll make four different dishes out of this tofu. So just get a piece of a kitchen towel and lightly tap it to remove the excess moisture. The reason I'm doing this is because one of the dishes that I'll be doing, I need to deep fry this. So to prevent splatter, I need to remove the excess water. So once you're done with this, okay, what we need to do is just to divide this into equal portions. So I'm just using a dough cutter to divide this tofu up. Just put approximately in the middle, somewhere around here perhaps. And just gently glide it down. There's two pieces and we just need to divide this into quarters now. So somewhere like this, just gently push it down and the same for the other side. Just gently push it down. Okay, so when this is done, we'll fry one of the pieces now. Heat up a pan of oil. We are going to shallow fry the tofu now. Slowly slide the tofu in. You will splatter a little bit so just be careful. Don't move it around so often, let it just fry in this oil for approximately 2 minutes or so. Once 2 minutes is up, we will use a spatula and a pair of chopsticks and we will slowly turn this to the other side. Now if you want them to brown more evenly, you have to deep fry them. But I'm doing shallow fry because I don't want to waste too much oil. The fire setting that I'm using is medium to low. 
I believe the other side is done also. Let's just turn it around and try to make this color more even over here. Okay. I want to turn this up. So another one minute, we'll be removing this from oil. Okay, we'll remove now from oil. Now we will need to make the sauce as well as cook the vegetables. We will heat up a pan, put in a little bit of oil, not too much. We will be adding in 3 slices of young ginger and also 1 clove of garlic chopped. When you can smell the fragrance that's coming out from here, we will add in 1 cup of water. Add in also one tablespoon of oyster sauce. Mix them up well. When the water is boiling, we'll add in the vegetables of our choice. I have a few pieces of broccoli here. Put it in. One quartered mushroom, shiitake mushroom, fresh shiitake mushroom. Put it in. A few slices of carrots. Put them in. We're just going to steam them for approximately 10-15 seconds with the lid on. I'm just cooking for three person thus the amount of vegetable use is very little and I have a lot of other dishes accompanying this dish also. Right, we have a look. The veg are cooked already. We we'll add in one quarter teaspoon of sugar. Let's just give this a stir. And Let's just give this a taste. Mm. It's nice. But we need to add in a little bit more salt. So I'm adding in one third of a teaspoon of salt. Let's thicken this up with cornstarch solution. So now we'll add in one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine, just run it by the side of the pan. Let it evaporate a little bit. Now we'll turn off the flame and we'll add in one teaspoon of sesame oil. Now all we have to do is just to pour this over the tofu and it's time to serve this dish. The dish is done, so let's have a taste. Mm. Really very nice. After frying the tofu, the skin actually absorbs all the sauces. It's really, really tasty. So ladies and gentlemen, this is how we make our Homemade tofu, free broccoli, and shiitake mushroom. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. Oh, it's really good. Eh? No, no. Too for you, lah. Huh? No, lah. Not for you. So the tofu has cooled out considerably, considerably.